pain control. Successful therapy is achieved by treating the source of pain, not the site of pain. So we have to search for the source of the pain to eradicate it. Pain reaction threshold is defined as that point at which a person will feel the pain. Every patient differs from another patient in his pain reaction threshold. As we can see here, there are many stimuli that may affect the, the tooth. Toxic, fissures, radiation, uh, caries, trauma, sudden changes of temperature. All these, they affect the nerve <coughs> inside the pulp and the stimulus will go to the nerve and will affect the pulp. Factors that lower the PRT include presence of pain in the beginning of treatment, fatigue, and fear of anxiety. So it's important that we understand that every patient differs from another in the possible of how much he can tolerate pain. Differential diagnosis of dental pain. There are many sources of pain. First of all, odontalgia, which is dental origin. It may be reversible pulpitis, irreversible pulpitis, or symptomatic epical periodontitis. Musculoskeletal, as TMJ dysfunction syndrome. Neuropathic, as trigeminal neuralgia and herpes infection. The others are less as neurovascular, inflammatory conditions, systematic disorders, and psychogenic, but they are all present. That's why we have to do a good differential diagnosis to differentiate dental pain from the others. There are many nerves in the pulp. Nerve fibers are A fibers, which are myelinated, they are present in the coronal area of the pulp. They are responsible for the sudden pain. And C fibers, which are unmyelinated, they are in the center and the epical region, and they are responsible for the late dull pain. So A fibers are stimulated by air, cold, heat, drilling, probing, and pain is experienced as fast, sharp, short, and well localized. C fibers are stimulated by inflammatory mediators, mechanical deformation, and heat and pain is experienced as slow, dull, lingering, and poorly localized. Local anesthesia, it's a, tem the, uh, it's a temporary loss of sensation or pain in a certain part of the body. Topically applied or injected agent without depressing the level of consciousness. There are two main types of local anesthesia. They are made from esters as the procaine and benzocaine and the more recent amides as the lidocaine, mepivacaine, prilocaine, and articaine. Topical anesthetics, 
they are effective to minimize surface discomfort of injection of the needle. This anesthetic is composed of benzocaine up to 20% or lidocaine as a solution or an ointment 5% or by use of the most uh, widely used spray which is up to 10%. The techniques of mandibular anesthesia the most widely used is the inferior alveolar nerve block. The site is near the mandibular foramen before the entry of the inferior alveolar nerve. The action, it anesthetizes the mandibular teeth with the buccal and lingual soft tissue. The Galgate's mandibular nerve block site is the lateral aspect of the neck of the mandible condyle. The action, it is the V3 nerve block anesthetizing all the mandibular teeth in the region with the buccal and lingual soft tissues. It also provides sensory anesthesia to the buccal and mylohyoid nerve. So it's a more generalized nerve block to the mandibular nerve. The Kinuzi Bazirani nerve block site is the height of the mucogingival junction of the maxillary third molar near the maxillary tuberosity. The action is the mandibular nerve where there is limited mouth opening, maybe due to uh, pus accumulation around the, the uh, uh, masseter muscles and we can't open up the mandible. Here, in this uh, nerve block is very beneficial. The incisive nerve block site in the mandible buccally between the mandibular two premolars. The action anesthesia to the premolars and anterior teeth in the region. Techniques for maxillary anesthesia the posterior superior alveolar nerve block. The site is the buccal fold of the maxillary second molar. The action is the maxillary molars and buccal soft tissue. The, man, the middle superior alveolar nerve block. The site is the buccal fold of the premolars and the action is the second maxillary premolar. Third, the anterior superior alveolar nerve block. The site is the buccal fold of the maxillary premolar and aimed at the infraorbital foramen. Action, anterior teeth and premolars with overlying soft tissue. Supplemental injection techniques, periodontal ligament injection. Here the site is between the tooth and the periodontal ligament, with bevel of the needle is towards the root. This is very important because we in, um, ensure that the anesthesia will go down and not transmitted or dissipated in the gum or in the gingiva. Action is immediate anesthesia to the tooth. 
intraosseous anesthesia. Local anesthetics is directed into the bone surrounding the root. A small perforation is made in the cortical plate of the bone and the needle is inserted to in introduce the local anesthetic. Propulpal anesthesia, when any nerve block or infiltration anesthesia does not give me a very uh, optimal anesthesia to the pulp and I want to do pulp extirpation, my last result is intrapulpal anesthesia. The needle is inserted directly in the pulp and local anesthesia introduced with force. We don't need more than few drops of the local anesthesia and onset is immediate. Dental and referred pain. Diagnosis here is very challenging and complicated because the dental uh, area is surrounded by many, many uh, structures as muscles, vascular tissue, and uh, joints. Pain from one tooth may be referred from another tooth or from other orofacial structures. Other facial pain disorders may mimic the symptoms of toothache. So it's important to use the vitality tests to see if the origin is of dental origin or from another site. This lecture is present in the channel of Professor Hussein Al-Huizi.